After placing your I1 uh, securely on the monitor there, what you're going to do is go to the next step and it asks you to set your contrast to 100. Now, some monitors don't have contrast adjustment. That's okay. If that's the case, uh, it's natively set and what you will do is just skip that step. So for, uh, for this monitor, I have that ability. I'm going to go ahead and set that now. Okay. And we'll see here. Go ahead and click start here. And what will happen is the I1 will be located by the software. So anywhere on the monitor here, uh, it will locate it. It'll pinpoint where the sensor is going to be. So you can place your I1 anywhere on your monitor there. There you see it's almost located it. Pinning it down. There we go. It's found location. You'll see up here this contrast indicator. There'll be a black bar and the purpose here is to get this down to the green area. So I'm going to uh, bring the contrast down. And as you're going through your OSD adjustment here, you'll have to click in this black area to make sure that your black bar comes down. So each time you make an adjustment, um, you want to make sure uh, you get it right there in the middle. And you'll see that right here. You'll see the, the black bars is set in the middle there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit stop. It's going to bring us back. After setting the contrast, the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, select your RGB preset. If your monitor has a preset, or if your monitor has RGB controls, you'll see that here on my OSD. I'll have something called user, which gives me RGB control here. If you don't have either RGB presets uh, natively set on your monitor or red, green, and blue control, you're just going to want to skip this step. Um, just click the right arrow and go ahead and skip this step. But for, uh, for this purpose, we're going to go ahead and uh, adjust the red, green, and blue. Now this can be a little bit tricky. Um, you'll see the grid up here. Uh, I1's reading in the patches just to see what the monitor is showing red, green, and blue at this point. And you'll see my blue bar is all the way to the right, my red's all the way to the left. So what I'm going to need to do um, is get these adjusted. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and start with the red, bring that up a bit, and you'll see it's starting to come up here idea is to get all three of these bars right in the green area. So you're going to want to work with the red and the green first because that's going to make the biggest changes. So if I go ahead and click my, my green up and you'll see my red coming down there. I'm going to go ahead and bring that down, we'll bring the red up. And you're going to have to fiddle with this a little bit, um, play around with your settings. Uh, to get these uh, get these bars in here. Now, on some monitors, you may have to click with your arrow in this black area to see the adjustments that you're making. Um, it's a little bit different um, depending upon your monitor and whether or not it's going to um, adjust those in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my red up a bit here. Now I'm going to go down to my green or my blue going to go ahead and bring my blue down. And you'll see my red starting to pop up there. I want to bring that down. And you'll see the blue starting to come down here. There we go. We're almost all in the middle now. Uh, I'm just going to bring my green up, or my green down I should say. Just a couple notches and you'll see everything's kind of coming up just one notch. Got to wait sometimes for everything to kind of set in there. There you go, that's pretty close. And we're all in the green area here. Now you want to just go up to my red one more time. Bring that red down just a tad. There you have it. We're all set. 
We're at 5,000 kelvins. Our current RGB preset is 5,000. So uh, after setting your RGB, the next thing you're going to want to do is set your uh, your brightness of your monitor. Now, just about every monitor has a brightness control. Some monitors, like I said earlier, are extra bright. Um, you may have to go all the way down to zero brightness um, to maybe get to 110 or 120. You know, a good monitor, you should be able to go down to 80, 90 uh, for a white luminance, uh, candelas per meter squared, uh, you know, so that you can get a proper print match. Very important here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start here for our brightness. You'll see it throwing up some patches here, and you'll see a luminance indicator here. So I can bring this over. And we're currently at 117. Our target is 90. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead into our brightness adjustment here on our monitor. You'll see that here. And I'm going to have to bring the brightness down. And you'll see right away uh, my current has come down to 111. Again, we're just trying to get into this green field here. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. You got to give it some time to adjust. It'll peak down, so we're at 92.8 now, 91.5, and you'll see I'm not even pressing the button and it's going down. We're at 91.1 here, 90.7, 90.4. Looks like this is going to be it. This setting, 90.2. 89.9, now it's still going down, it might go down too far, 89.8, 89.6, 89.5, so we're pretty much steadying here, it should be okay, if I try to go up one, see what happens, we're at 90.7, so you'll see there, uh, we're going up about just as much as we're going down with that one um, increment in the brightness setting, so 89.1, 89. Pretty much I'm fine with that. I think that that will work out. Just go up one more time just to see. Oh, we're at 90.4 here. Will it go up? It's sticking at 90, 90.5. So that'll be good. So after brightness has been set, uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to watch your I1 read in a series of uh, color patches uh, to create your profile. So you'll see it's measuring now. Uh, should be done briefly. So after your uh, I1 has finished measuring, uh, measuring the color patches, this screen will pop up here and it's a profile summary. So you'll see our target was 5,000 and our current was 4,900. So pretty close there. Most of the times this is going to hit it right on the mark. Um, our target for our gamma is 2.3, 2.2. So very close there and our target luminance of 90. Um, we hit it at 90.3, so not bad there. You also have the uh, ability to uh, rename your profile here. So I can call this, I'll just name it the name of the monitor, I'll call it Acer, and then it gives you a date here. Um, if you want to activate a reminder uh, for you know one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, uh, to let you know when to do the calibration, go ahead and click that there. I tend to just click it off. I know. Uh, I, I typically just calibrate every month or so, so not a big deal there. This before and after button is kind of nice. You'll get kind of an idea if you uh, click this on and off. Now that was before, this is after, and I'm sure on the video it's probably hard to see, but I'll go ahead and do it again. There's your before, and there's your after. Before and after. And then here you're going to go ahead and click Finish Calibration and the i1 software will place uh, this uh, monitor profile in the correct directory on your uh, windows machine this is a windows uh, pc here so in your system 32 spool drivers color folder that, that will be where all your icc profiles are going to be kept okay so you're you're all set uh, you properly calibrated uh, your monitor using the i1 match uh, software and uh, the i1 spectrophotometer